What's up, Turner fam? Oh, what a beautiful sight to see. Right there. Oh, for the past week and a half, my boat's been uh, with a buddy. He's been working on the carburetors. Because I put the boat on a trailer the last time I was fishing with my nephew. And when I put it on there, the where you tilt the motor up, after you put it on the trailer, it broke. And as I was sitting there, messing with that i wasn't aware that the back of the boat was in the water so much because the water's down on the lake that the back end of the boat was filling up with water <laughs> so i ended up sinking the back end of the boat but luckily it was already on the trailer so i was able to pull it out with the truck but i got water all in the gas all in the carburetor i had to go clean the carburetor and everything put new spark plugs but she purring like a kitten now we are ready to go it's about 36 degrees uh, Wednesday I already spilled my energy drink so you know that's good luck uh, but we got a tournament coming up Saturday it's the 23rd of November over at Big Man's it's $40 a boat $5 big fish one pole challenge and if you don't know what one pole challenge is it's basically you can have as many fishing rods as you want in your boat we don't care about that but you can only use one pole at a time. No spider rigging, no nothing. You can tight line, whatever, but you one pole per person. You got two people in the boat, you know, a team. One per, one pole per person. I mean, simple rules. $40 a person. Starts at uh, 7, 7 a.m. Sign up start at 6 a.m. We'll all be down there. We'll be selling crappy man jigs. Uh, I'll be there. You can take pictures or whatever you want with me. Uh, then we're going fishing. I don't think my dad's going to fish it. He's at, he said he's going to ride around in the boat and make sure everybody's using one pole. But I'm going to fish it with my buddy Jason. And I'm going out right now to see if I can find some big ones. So if I show you big ones and I don't show you where, that's why. <laughs> oh, but after that, a little update on the channel. I plan on getting, like, after this tournament Saturday, I'm going to bass fish a little bit more. Because, I mean, the water temp right now is probably like 50, 55-ish, probably. I mean, it'll warm up a little bit, but it's getting around that 50 degree range and it's time to start hitting points with deep water. Like, you want a long tapering point with deep water. Anyway, I'm gonna get into that more anyway, but I'm going for my PB this winter. It's gonna be a slow process, I mean, but we'll get into that later but i'm gonna head to the spot i got some big shiners i'm gonna i got one rod rigged up with a big jig and one with a regular jig Let's see if i can't find some two pounders today be nice water temp right now is 53 by the way but it's like 6 30 in the morning it's foggy as hell but i'll switch over to the chest cam when i find a fish and hopefully we can find some big ones for this tournament because lord knows i need money patreon do link down below <laughs> oh we got new t-shirts in the shop too uh if y'all got t-shirt ideas or something let me know like if you would like i was thinking about having like a turner fisher logo on the front and then like subscribe on the back or something i don't know what y'all think about that anyways let me head to the spot all right we're gonna start off with I mean, this one's about one of the smallest ones in the bucket, but just a split shot in the hook. We're just gonna let it down probably about eight foot. Just let him chill out over there and pick up the jig right here. Just gonna use a little slab tail jig to start off. I need some oil on my feet. But let's see if we can get one. Hey, there's number one. 
Definitely not the size we're after. Definitely. But it's a start. That one's probably about seven and a half inches. Oh. But right on top of this brush pile like it should be. Just hopefully there's some bigger ones out here. We got a grown one, boys. That's what I'm looking for right there, guys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's a good tournament fish right there. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's a good 13 inch, about a pound and a half. Maybe bigger, I don't know. Caught him on the little shiner. On minnow, whatever he is. It's a good fish. Especially for the first keeper. I caught some little ones. But, good start, good start. I got one right here, see how big he is. Oh God. That's a good one. I don't think it's a crappy. <laughs> oh, the old catfish plague that hit me again. Cause if it is a crappy, it's a freaking giant, guys. I feel like a catfish. Definitely feels like a catfish. Old four pound test. <laughs> Get my net ready for the kitty cat. Come on, dude. Yeah, old kitty cat. <laughs> I was on a big shiner too. Every time I come fishing, I catch one of y'all. <laughs> you knew that kitty cat? And you done took that hook. All right, go check that kitty cat out. Y'all know what that is? Is that like a big old trout line or something? Yeah, that's gotta be what it is. Jugs. Jesus Christ, they in the middle of the freaking lake. What the hell? I about ran into them because the sun's in my eye. I mean, I understand jugging and trout line and all that. That's cool. You know, I ain't got nothing against that, but what? Why? Are, that's like 20 jugs in a line. In the middle of the lake. I'm right here where you turn to go to Saluda River from uh from Spinners. What the heck? I'm like, I'm going to Big Man's right now. Cause I mean the fish I found, I found one good one. I mean that's a nice tournament fish, but that's the only fish I caught on that dock besides a catfish. The, the dock done played out, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to Big Man and see. I mean, they were biting there the other day. I mean, I ain't been making videos, but I've been catching a lot of fish. So, we're going to try it there. But, I only catch two fish between three, four docks. That ain't looking good. Like a slab. Get in here, boy. Jesus Christ, guys. <laughs> what? That is a freaking, and I hooked him in the nose. That is a giant freaking crappy. Don't really want to show the dock. Sorry about it, guys. How long this guy is. It might that might be my biggest crappy ever. I'm gonna go check it out. Oh. 
All right, so that concludes day one of practice. We ended up with two good ones. I want to see how long this guy right here is. My personal best crappy is 15 inches, 15 and a half inches. Let's see how long this guy goes. 14 and a half. So he probably weighs about pound and a half. Well, probably almost two pounds. But I did end up catching my limit. I'll show you how to feed. We only probably got about four good ones, but I didn't fish like the total seven hours that I've got in the tournament to find them. But that concludes today's video. Sorry I didn't show you much. Uh, a lot of y'all watch my videos are from Lake Murray and honestly a lot of my spots are being taken over because of these videos which I'm fine with it's whatever but I'm gonna head to the house I'll see y'all at the tournament